welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the content that we put out on a regular basis. So if you want to get in contact with me to discuss or talk about your business, there's two ways that you can do that. First one, if you visit my Calendly link in the description of this video, you can book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me and we can get on a call, talk about your business and I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow your business. Or if you would rather just send me a question, then you can email me to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. I check my emails every single day. So I will respond to every email that comes my way. So today I want to talk about credit cards. Right now, over the last couple of weeks, I've spoken to a lot of coaches who are at a point now where they're looking to, to grow their business and expand it. Now, something that a lot of coaches start to do once they start to scale is they look for credit right a lot of them look to start using business credit cards so personally in my business i've never used a credit card and that isn't because i don't want to it's just because i've never had the need to use a credit card Right. My mentality has always been to sell, sell, sell and to drive revenue into the company. And as that's worked at this point, I've never had to go out and use, uh, use or get a business credit card to expand and to grow the business. Now, what I want to share with you is ways that business owners are currently using credit cards and why using a business credit card is can become a disadvantage and can hurt your business in the long term. Now, again, there are a lot of advantages to using a credit card. And if you're very smart with it, it can help to grow and expand the business. But what I have noticed and doing a lot of research in this industry is that a lot of trainers don't know how to manage their money, let alone use a credit card to their advantage, right? To grow their business and use a credit card responsibly. So I want to share with you three things that I know will help you. It will increase your awareness. And if this is something that you have been thinking about, then it might put you off. But what I want you to do is I want you to expand your mindset into looking at the positives when I'm going to share with you the disadvantages. Okay, so when I tell you a disadvantage, I want you to think in your mind, right, how can I turn that into a positive so I can use um, the credit card or I can use credit to my advantage to grow my business. Now, what I would recommend is once you finish watching and if this is something you want to, to talk about or to get more specialist knowledge on, then I would definitely recommend um, getting in contact with someone that is an expert in finances. Okay? So I'm going to share with you the very basics of the risks involved in using a business credit card, but... I would like you, if this is something you want to do to grow the business, then speak to a financial advisor or a financial expert and they will be able to guide you in, the, in, in a better direction. Okay, So first disadvantage of using a business credit card is it can be expensive. Now, some coaches, what they do is over time, they build up great credit. And when they go to their bank to, to get out a credit card for their business, right, they're normally accepted. They, they get accepted and sometimes, depending on what type of credit card, there might be a limit to $10,000. There might be a limit to $15,000. It might be 20000 
Okay, it depends how good your credit score is, will depend on how what your limit for for business will be, right? So what what's what sometimes happens is because you're getting out a business credit card, sometimes the 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 amount you can spend is going to be higher than a personal credit card. Okay, so a personal credit card, the limit might be $5,000. If you get a business one, it might be more. It could be 15K, it could be 20K, etc. right? Because it's, it's normally seen as, the, as to grow and invest into the company, okay? So what tends to happen though is coaches, when they see 20K, when they see 15K, when they see 25K, the temptation to spend it becomes big, right? Because ultimately what you have with you is you've got a, a card with kind of unlimited amount of money to spend. So what coaches start to do, they start to buy things for the business. It might be equipment. It might be they start to spend money on advertising, on promoting, on buying new merchandise. And what they start to see is that Yes, it gives you that, that opportunity to, to invest into your business, but when you start to pay off it, or when you start to pay it back, it does become expensive, right? And credit cards are expensive depending on what interest rates you get for that credit card. So ultimately, if you spend 5K of credit on your card, you will be paying back seven or eight K in return, right? So when you finish off uh, paying it all back, you're going to pay back more than what you actually spent. Okay. So ultimately it's going to become more expensive in the long term. In the short term, it helps because you can invest in, in, in small things such as equipment, such as um, marketing, advertising, buying new uh, training gear etc but then in the long term when you have to start to pay that credit card off okay it does get expensive and you're gonna pay more than when you what you actually used okay so number one the disadvantage is ultimately it is expensive to use a business credit card All right second one is it can lead to temptations right as I mentioned at the beginning most trainers in this industry are number one very very bad at organization and number two they're very bad with their finances right? most coaches don't know how to spend and invest into their business so when you have someone a trainer which is bad at money management bad at organization bad at financial discipline and you're giving them a credit card with 5, 10, 20K to spend, the temptation to waste that money and to blow it on stupid things is huge. And I have seen it where coaches have spent money that they don't need to spend on. And what ultimately happened is that instead of spending money to make money back, so instead of investing into marketing, advertising, which you're going to hopefully get a return back on your investment. Coaches are spending money on, on gear or equipment that ultimately doesn't make money back for them. So what ends up happening is they're spending money on, on stupid things and those stupid things aren't creating revenue back into the business. Okay, so ultimately what you want to do is if you do use your business credit card, you want to use it so that that money is generating or creating revenue back into your business. Okay, but again, if, if a trainer is bad at financial discipline, if they're bad at money management, if they don't know how to track their expenses, their income, then what chances do they have of using a business credit card responsibly. The chances are very low. So a disadvantage is that there's a lot of temptations to waste and blow money on 
a credit card. Okay. Now the third one is it does take a lot of time to apply for a business credit card. And sometimes it can become very time consuming. So when you apply, okay, the process isn't a quick one. Okay, ultimately the, the, the bank is going to ask you a lot of questions. They're going to do their, their research on your business. Okay, and all of that consumes a lot of time. And what I've seen a lot of coaches do is that they don't invest their own time into finding ways to grow the business. Instead, what they do is they're waiting for that credit card application to go through and then they start to work on the business of getting new clients. So a, pro a typical credit card process can take between three to six weeks until it's all processed, accepted, and you, you receive the card. So it is very, very time consuming. And if you are waiting three to six weeks on an application, obviously you're wasting money and time where you could have spent that elsewhere to grow and scale your business to get more clients or do some more prospecting, generate more leads, okay? put on more free training sessions for, for, for clients. Instead, of, instead, what coaches are doing, they're waiting three to six weeks and then they decide, right, once I have that credit card, then I'm going to invest into branding, marketing, advertising. Okay. And it's all time wasted. Okay. So again, if this is something you want more help uh, talking about, I am not a financial expert. Okay. But I have spoken and I have worked with coaches who have used business credit cards before. And I can tell you and I can share with you some of their experiences and some of their obstacles that they have faced using those credit cards. But if you do want to and if you want to use one in the future, then what I would recommend is go and talk to a financial expert who will be able to lead you in, the, in a better direction and give you more financial advice on the benefits and the disadvantages of using a business credit card. Okay, hopefully this video has helped you. If it has, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest content that we're putting out. And if you want to speak to me, if you want to jump on a free 15 to 20 minute call to talk about your business, you can do that as well. Visit the Canonly link in the description. Okay, you can book your call there. Or if you want to send me an email with any questions with regards to what I've discussed, you can do that as well. Send it to Make money coaching sports at gmail.com. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.